You know, the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for everyone on this earth, including you. No matter what message you've heard, or what religion, or what disappointment you've gone through, or disappointment that you've seen, even in the church, I want you to be encouraged that we don't look at each other for perfection, but we look only to Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says in Revelation, Behold, many will say unto me, But I did this and this and this, Lord, in your name. And he will say to me, But you were neither hot nor cold, but you were lukewarm, so I had to spew you out of my mouth. I urge every one of you today to live your life 100% for Jesus Christ. Whether you're listening to me and you're a backslider, whether you're listening to me and you've, you've had that altar call experience and you know that beautiful feeling of crying in the spirit and worshiping the Lord, but then suddenly the world kind of takes a hold and you know the old habits come back. That happens to a lot of people, so don't condemn yourself. But I encourage you to step away from all of that. Jesus Christ will take you the way you are, but he likes you and urges you and needs you to clean up to make it to heaven. When you fall in love with a person, you want to do what they want to do. You conform your own ways sometimes because you see that they like something that you may not necessarily like, but because you love them so much, you will compromise, if you will, and become one with that person just to make them happy and please. How much more should we do that? Want to do that? for Jesus Christ, who gave up everything for us. You will never find a greater love, ladies. You will never find a greater love, men, than the love of Jesus Christ, than the love of God Almighty, than the love of the Holy Spirit that they have already set for you. You cannot outgive Him. You give them a little and they will give you back much. I urge you today, what do you have to lose? In the privacy of your home, in the public place, if you're listening to me on the internet or on television, wherever you might be, I urge you to invite Jesus Christ into your heart, whether it's the first time or the second or over and over again because you felt like you backslidden, doesn't matter. You can never outdo it. I want you to repeat after me. And this time, close your eyes. Hold out your hand in reverence and respect to your Heavenly Father. And even if you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a room of people, you can still go like this, just out of honor to Him. The Bible says, confess me before men, and I will confess you before my Father which is in heaven. And even if you're all by yourself, it's okay. Let's say it together. You cannot go wrong by giving your heart and right now your words to Jesus Christ. You see, first it becomes head knowledge, then heart knowledge, then it becomes soul. And once it's in your soul, the Bible says, out of your belly flows rivers of living water. So it's a process. But today, let's take you one step further. What do you have to lose? Nothing. You have everything to gain. You know, many people think, and I know I thought it for years, that once you give your heart to Jesus, all the fun stops. Oh, I have to stop this and I have to stop that and I, I can't really hang out with this person and that person. And Jesus says, oh, no, no. You don't know what you're missing out on. That's temporary fun. That's empty fun. Let me show you real joy, he says. Oh, you have peace that passes all understanding. A thousand fall at your left side and 10,000 at your right hand. You're blessed coming in, you're blessed going out. Ah, there are so many benefits of giving your heart to Jesus Christ. Not all of it's a bed of roses, but neither is the world either a bed of roses. The devil likes to make it look that way, but that's his job to make it look easier to follow him. So make the decision today. Any one of you watching, men, you will never find a greater love. Women, you will never find a greater love than the love of your heavenly Father, than the love of Jesus Christ, than the love of the precious Holy Spirit, who went all of them went out of their way for you. 
can we take some time out for them? Repeat this after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me and you rose again and you live now. Holy Spirit, if there is anything in my life that should not be there, get it out. And please bring into my life what needs to be there. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. You're part of the children and the family of God. There's no going back unless you choose to go back. But God says, once you're here, you're here. Now it's time to get prepared for the feast in heaven. So read your Bible every day, even if it's for five minutes. Go to church. You may find three, four, or five different churches until you find the one that you really like, that you fit into. That's okay. The Bible just says, do not forsake the assembling of the saints. You're, you're not going to find perfect churches, just like you're not going to find perfect people. Don't worry about that. Jesus Christ is the perfect one to follow. That's why he wants you to feast on him every day. His daily bread for you. Take the time to pray every day. Take the time to read your Bible. Go to church and tell somebody, today is the day that I gave my heart to Jesus Christ. Today is my spiritual birthday. And congratulations. God bless you. And I'll see you again.